Some of here. Why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye, Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Amir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. Mamir, we're on the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. Ed, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! I can read what this says now, but it's a name. Rota! Whoa! The name made it light up! It's the name of one of the Valkyries. That's quite curious. I still can't read these. I put my lips to the horn. That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. All right, wish me luck. Uh, ooh. Ha, ha, ha. You envy me. I've still got it, lads. You remembers me. Why you?
He knows the pain of your loss. He will help you. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're heading in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looks kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. Another name. Air. Another Valkyrie. That's no coincidence. But who'd have etched them on Tears Braziers? to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Ready yourself! Nightmares! Uh, what awful pain! They were harder. Is that weird? Here, boy. Yes, sir. It's another one of those maps. I have a favor to ask. Just a small favor, really. Do you remember the dagger you gave me? The dagger stabbed into the Reaver's back? His own son killed him? Yeah. I haven't forgotten that one. Well, I traced it to a group of Reavers that operate out of the Northree Stronghold. I'd wager that's where they took their haul from Fafnir's storeroom. Along with that whetstone that I could use to help you? <laughs> Another treasure hunt? Pointless. Well, not so if Cinder really around, can friends? make us better equipment with that whetstone. Plus, the Reaver's son. He murdered his father.
good. You don't have to run off on my account. Once you retrieve the whetstone, please take utmost care while handling it. It is a priceless relic, after all. Once you retrieve the whetstone, please take utmost care while handling it. It is a priceless relic, after all. Mom are here. What is this place? Ah, could it be? The Eight Thrones. Stop being coy, Head. Do you know this place or not? Ah, Mimia, the smartest man alive. I know many things. Well, whatever this place is, it looks important. To who? There is little of value here. Once you retrieve the whetstone, please take utmost care while handling it. It is a priceless relic, after all.
way to the chisel. Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Mimir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me. Large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastation. damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm. Precisely. Enough was enough, and at last Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. Took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? Hopeless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. Chisel is ahead past this gate. Be ready. among the living. My beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sather magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death, if only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. 
They've taken three of Sweet Gulvik's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvik will reward you. Father, maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye out look while we... Look at you, wish boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. This chisel we see. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. And <laughs> there was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamu hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, the quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Hrimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son. But in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And what happened next? You'll see. Killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. But truth is, the sweaty bob. Crystals up ahead! A wolver! A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Very giant. Darn, that didn't seem to do anything. Brother, looks like that crystal's brimming again. Oh, Thamur was a frost god. When he died, his final breath froze everything. 